right, guys, we're back. Sorry we're so late. Um, also, sorry for those people who've seen our last video that's actually going to be about the same as this one. And we deleted it after like eight hours, and I'm so sorry. But there was a part in there we didn't cut, so. My bad. Yeah. I miss it. Technical difficulties, but. Well, I mean, it took like six hours to upload anyway. It really so. did take like six hours. Uploading with your phone is a complicated process. Yeah, I really need to bring my camera in and start setting our camera in. <laughs> yeah, I can bring mine in or yours. Yeah. Matter, yeah. If we could invest in a store laptop, that would be. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, see, this is what we do. We get off track, and that's where our last video was like 40 minutes long. Yep. Uh, but uh, anyway, this week's video is about mods blowing up and why. Big, big, touchy little topic going on right now. A lot of questions being asked about it, especially here in the shop. Yeah, we run into it like 10, 15 times a day. Yeah, we do. Um, we explain it the same way every time, you know. But I figure we put a video out there, so if somebody asks, we can be like, go watch our YouTube video. We'll explain it all. Yeah. So, let's start from the top. Mech mods. Okay, like what I have in my hands, mech mod. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that your battery has every bit of wrap that it originally had when you first bought it. Any exposed battery, if you see silver, throw it away. Rewrap it. Any black spots in your battery, throw it away. Don't use it. That's your battery venting out, leaking out the acid, it's a ticking time bomb. Don't do it. Um, another thing is you want to watch your builds. Yeah, building is fun. Building is a really big hobby anymore. Uh, you Google coil builds and it's all over the place. Um, they're beautiful, but you gotta check your ohms. Yes. Uh, too low of a resistance can run that battery over, well, make the battery overheat, vent the battery out, and kaboom! You are missing a hand and half your face. That's not a good time. No, it's definitely not. Uh, <laughs> again, keeping, taking care of your mods. Uh, make sure they're clean. Any bad connection is gonna short it out. Uh, any dirt and grime in your 510 connectors, it's gonna short it out. It's not gonna fire right. Um, you drop it and dent your button, don't even use that mod anymore. Because you drop it and dent that button, you go to hit it again, that button's going to stick and then it's going to overload itself and kaboom! So if it happens to you, you drop it, doesn't even look dent, you hit the button, it sticks, drop it, kick it. Repairing a wall is a lot cheaper than fixing your face. It definitely is. So. Yeah, no, I mean, that's just one of the many unregulated mods. I mean, that, when we say unregulated, it means that there is no control, you cannot turn it on or off. The only thing you have is a single tube mod um, with one button on the bottom. So unregulated devices, you can't turn them on or off. Um, you can't lock it, most of them. It's uh, literally a uh, single tube and you press that bottom button. As long as you've got that button pressed, it's going to keep firing. And it's not safe to fire it for a long period of time. Five seconds at most. Yeah. I take like maybe two to three second pulls. if. Three, depending on what I've got built in it. Yeah, depending on what you have built, you only need even a one second pull sometimes. Yeah, I mean. Right there. Plenty of vapor. That's like one second, maybe. Yeah. So, but. Yeah, don't throw it in your purse. Don't shove it in your pocket. Um, unless you take the battery out of it. Because that can become very dangerous very fast. Just the slightest push on that button, it's going to fire. Yeah, as long as it's held down, like you said, it's just going to keep firing. And as soon as that uh, that button is fired, the juice is being evaporated off of the cotton. As soon as that cotton goes dry, the dry cotton's gonna catch fire, which can seep down into your battery, which can just. So, um, but I mean, then there's also the unregulated box mods, like your tugboats. Um, let's see who else puts them out. Uh, the hammer of God. Noisy cricket. Yeah, the noisy cricket. Which is not really a box mod. It's a rectangular shape. Takes two 18650s. It's got a top button, but it's more button. like a single tube mod. It's more that type of quality of a mod, anyway. And that one. That the, the batteries in our series, if you know what that means, um, they go in. It's gonna make that series connection. You have your negative on top, positive on the bottom, negative on the bottom, positive on the top. So when you press that button, it's gonna make that single, same current. <coughs> it's the same sense of uh, getting your stack tube mods. A uh, lot of power. A lot, a lot of power. It can push out up to over 100 watts at a time easily as soon as you hit it, especially with the ones that don't have a pin. And it's direct contact from the, the RDA pin to the battery top. Yeah. Positive pin. Or, so you said yeah. I can get one off and show you. So, 
you can see it directly through that because it's making direct connection to uh, the five pin connector on the RDA. Uh, never put a tank on it. Um, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care even if the manufacturer says. I don't do it. I do it. So it's a lot of problems we see, especially in here. One time, you know, somebody had a tank on a mod. As soon as they fired the button the very first time, um, it it almost caught fire. The whole bottom pin of the tank itself was black. And the whole tube was hot, had to hit the battery, I had to let it sit, could barely even touch it. As soon as you feel that mod getting hot, take the battery out, let it sit down and cool. Um, sometimes I don't even recommend throwing a fresh battery into it. I'd let the mod cool down itself as well. Yeah, because um, a lot of unregular devices don't have a lot of ventilation. So it's pretty much just trapped inside that heat the entire time. Yeah, so. Um, but I mean, really need to read up on Ohm's Law. I can drop a link down in the description. Um, it'll bring it to a site that literally explains everything about Ohm's Law, how to calculate it, all the fun stuff. It breaks it down really simple. Ohm's Law is really simple. A lot of people are like, oh, i got to do a lot of research and that's going to take time. No, it's not a whole lot of information, but it's really good information to keep in your head. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes you, even, you can find charts online that have the ohms of this specific build you can just do. You don't even have to research on how to do it. You just do it and that's what's going to so be. So yeah, you can research a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff's going to make it pretty simple for you. Uh, a lot of things that you can read on and do it without even having to do much because it pretty much lays it all out there for you. I mean, there's some sites you can get on where it dumbs it down so much where you should have, you th feel like you should have just already knew it, you know? Yeah. It's not as hard as it seems. You just got to be cautious when it comes to the unregulated stuff and you also have to be you know, cautious when it comes to how you keep it clean and how you keep it stored and your batteries and you want to make sure they're not too hot or too cold. Don't make leave sure. them in your car. Don't leave them in the sun or in the cold. Like, people think that it's okay if it's cold outside, it's not okay. It kills the cells in your 18650 batteries or your 26650. It's the same concept of your car battery. When it gets cold out, it's harder to start your car. Same concept. Exactly. So. You know, so you want to keep it in like a room temperature kind of area or... If for some reason you have to leave it in your car, keep it shaded, uh, take the batteries out of the mod, you know, keep it in the coolest area of the car, wherever that may be, you know, just be cautious with it, really. I mean, it's, we don't want to scare you guys away from it because of all the stories going on around the internet right now and social media and everything, because it is a fun thing to do. You just gotta know what you're doing. You gotta pay attention. You can't just be careless with it. It's not one of those things you can be careless with, really. No. Otherwise, you'll end up like a story on Google, and we don't want that. No. It's... <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I love building. I love showing off the different builds, and I love seeing how they made. You get a lot of different flavors out of any juice. Yeah. Like, you made, put a flavor in your tank, and it tastes one way, and then you build a set of coils and drip it on there, and it tastes completely different. Exactly. So, so it can be really fun. Um, <clears throat> more like a hobby for most people, you know? But uh, Pretty much really easy it is. Now, whenever you go to, like, the regulated devices, there's not much to say with those, um, besides the fact that those are a lot more safe, technically, to build on. Um, because if you don't know what you're doing and you're just going to build anyway, then they've got a million safety features nowadays to where if it's too low, it's not going to let you fire it. If your batteries are getting too low, it's not going to let you fire it after a certain amount of power. Um, if, let's see, if your batteries have something wrong with them, it may say imbalanced battery. It may say atomizer short or check battery or whatever it may be but it'll let you know there's something going on that's that shouldn't be oh yeah so you know that's a good that's what i prefer to build on myself but i have built on mac mods i have like six mac mods myself and i still love them um, i i hate it when people are like oh that's gonna blow up it's, it's no not. it's not make sure you put them on the right charger forgot about that make sure yeah. you put them on the charger the correct way um don't put them upside down positive goes up negative goes down um, don't trust every product that you see online. That's a good topic too, I forgot about that. Um, you can get a lot of clone batteries, you can get a lot of really crappy chargers. I mean, yeah, you may seem like you're getting a good deal, you're getting a two batteries and a two bay charger for like 10 bucks, no. Don't do it. And the sites you usually find that on are going to be like uh, Fast Tech, DHgate, eBay is a big, big, big one. Because uh, they, they can mark their products off as authentic, but they're not. Yeah, uh, uh, Wish. Don't Wish, order yeah. anything vapor related on Wish. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, it's cheap, but yeah, it's, you get what you pay for when it comes to vaping, to be honest. Yeah. Um, no. And it's not like we're trying to be biased because we work here at the vape shop. It's no. just the fact that you we know, want you people, all to stay safe. 
Yeah, and if you want to go online, that's totally fine. Go for it. Go online, but make sure you buy it from a reputable site. Exactly. That, that's all we're saying. And yeah, and granted, you're going to find everything cheaper online. Most than, stuff, anyway. Most stuff, anyway. Because you're going to... Shops have to make money, too. But, like, not trying to be like, oh, we'll come into our shop and buy it. No, it's... <laughs> Get it from trusted areas, like she yeah. said. Get reputable sites. Um, go to different vape shops and just ask different workers. Just see what their take is on it. Because yeah. nine times out of ten, they're going to tell you the same exact information. They really are. And I mean, also read reviews. You know, on these sites, read reviews on the products before you buy them. I know people like to ignore those and say, you know, well, it may be one star, but I may get it and it's perfect. When it comes to vaping, you don't want to trust that. No. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Crap. He forgot. Short term memory. Oh well. Anyway yeah. though, but uh, no, there's a million other things we could say and if you guys want to talk more about it, you can always come in the shop, you can always call us. Shoot us an email, I'm getting like, yeah. really good email. responding with emails. It's so. archcityvapers3525 at gmail.com. Email us anytime, we will always reply. Get on our Instagram, get on our Facebook. When you get on our Facebook, you're going to be talking to the owners, you're going to be talking to the general manager, which is Stacy, and she actually works out of this location right here, so she's either always here, or she's in Columbia, or she's doing something. But she'll always answer, I promise. She's always oh, yeah. on her phone. <laughs> yep. And, I mean, even when like, I'm not even at the shop, I've been responding to people's emails and everything. Oh, yeah. just, just because I, I don't want to feel like I'm ignoring everybody, and when it comes to vaping, I definitely want to make sure everybody stays safe. and. If they yeah. have any questions, I'm always open to answer it. So just shoot us an email. Either Kennedy or I will reply to it. So. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, it's... There's a lot more tedious things we can cover, but those are the biggest topics of all. Like the video I had to delete was like 40 minutes long. Yeah, you just got to think. When you read through those stories online, think about, you know, what we just said. Think about, did they do this? Did they do this? Did they do this? And could it just be operator error? Because it probably is. Not saying that manufacturer issues don't occur because they definitely do, trust me, but oh, yeah. I mean, when it comes to, especially unregulated devices, it's all you. You know, you put the battery in, you push the button, there is no controls, there is no safety features, there is no, there's no interior guts inside, there's no wires, except, except for box unregulated mods, of course, but uh, tube mods especially is the biggest thing. I don't know, I ordered a, I thought I was getting a good deal again, practical <laughs> sites. Um, on a two mech mod and it came in and all the threads were cross threaded and it was making nothing but a constant connection to my battery and yeah. I ended up just throwing it away like after the 10 minutes I bought it yeah. or 10 minutes after I was using it. I think I paid like 8 bucks for it. It's a bad idea. Yeah and if you even, okay here's another thing. If you want to buy something online and you're not too sure about it, don't feel like you're hurting the vape shop's feelings by coming in and asking them about it because no. if you're going to come in. You're gonna ask me about a product. I'm not gonna not talk to you about it because it's not from our shop. No. I will tell you, yes, that is safe, or no, I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. No. Because it's not, you know. That's not something to lie about. No, I don't want to put you guys in danger. No. Or cause you to lose 500 bucks because you bought something that looks amazing online, but then you get it and it's a piece of crap. Yeah. It's. Yeah. We're. We're here to look out for you. And, I know a lot of people say that too. Yeah. <laughs> but well, if you know us, if you come in our shop, if you came in any of our shops, you know you know that. So I mean, we we try to be as sincere as possible and try yeah. to understand and see where everybody's coming from. Yeah. The only thing we wouldn't be able to talk to you about is anything the FDA has restricted us from. <laughs> That's about it. So any other questions, totally open. So, if you just want to come in and ask a question, you don't got to buy anything. Just come in and ask this question. Tell me the thing we'll out. Tell you. Yeah, if you don't know how to build, we can't do it for you, but we can show you each individual step you have to take down to how to wick the cotton. I did that earlier today. He, so. did, it, he did it like an hour ago. So, we will show you everything you need to know. I'll sit there and I will build with you. I will build my own. You can mimic me or Robert or Landon or Stacy or whoever's here or whoever's in any of the other locations. Yeah, they will show you anything you need to know. They won't let you walk out blind. No. I so. I, if I'm selling a tube Mac mod, I set it behind the counter until I can get everybody else out and have them come back to the back counter with me, and I'll sit and explain everything to them. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, and we don't care if you want to come in here and spend, like I was saying, like 500 bucks. If we don't think that you are going to take care of it or you're going to function it the correct way or, you know, know what you're doing at all, we won't let you leave the store with it until we know that we've explained everything we possibly can 
or that you can answer these specific questions that we ask you. Because oh. we're not going to let you walk out with a hand grenade. No. So. no but I mean, um, let's see about dropping the clip of the 120 giveaway winner. Yeah. She was super excited about it. So. Oh, yeah. She was, she was hyped. Yeah. Um, I said, well, we ran donuts. Last week we ran donuts, yeah, our 30 mils for 16 bucks. This week we're running uh, the uh, no match line, um, frosted and no match for 15.50 instead of 22. We got multiple flavors in that. You can look that up online, check out the profiles and everything like that. There's like, uh, let's see, four, five, six, eight flavors, seven or eight flavors. So. Seven. Yeah, and they're on sale till next Wednesday. So. Well, Stop uh, in, get it, enter on our. Monthly drawing, which we're doing a 200 watt regular, the uh, the first version Rouleau with three batteries, three Samsung 18650s, um, roughly 140 bucks. Roughly. You know? Yeah, roughly. Um, now it does not include a charger or the tank or juice or anything like that, but still, it's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Oh yeah, killer deal. It's a white one if you want another color. Yep. But, so. but yeah, anyone ever purchase, call in, come in, whatever you want to do. Uh, keep up with us on Instagram. We've been slacking on it too. Yeah, we're very, very, very sorry. Um, but, I mean, as always, keep it cloudy, guys.